Hello? Wake up, Maggie! I think we got something to say to you!
acid diethylamide, LSD, just plain acid, is one of the most potent drugs known. A single ounce will give 300,000 average doses. LSD is a hallucinogen. That's to say, it's a drug which affects the mind and alters the way people see, touch, smell, hear, and think. It's also called a psychedelic or mind-bending drug. Other similar drugs include peyote, mescaline, psilocybin, DMT, and STP. These drugs enjoyed a great burst of popularity a few years ago, but their use has been declining recently. The public in general, and teenagers in particular, have realized their extreme dangers and the fact that they can't be sure of how the drug will react on them. Acid was pushed as a way for users to open their minds and find new religious and philosophic insight and growing awareness. The actual effects may be quite the opposite. Acid can be taken in pill form, such as sunshine tablets, in clear gelatin known as windowpane acid, or dropped on absorbent paper and sold as blotter acid. An extremely small amount produces effects lasting 8 to 10 hours. It causes a rise in heart rate, blood pressure, and body temperature. The pupils of the eyes become dilated. The face may become flushed or pale. Palms sweat and hands and feet may become shaky. Users describe deep changes in how they see the world. Colors seem to be more vivid. All the senses seem to be sharper. Emotions become confused. And they may laugh and cry at the same time. Arms and legs may be both heavy and light. Ordinary harmless objects may become sources of intense terror. Space becomes distorted. They may feel they can float out a window. More than an ordinary status to draw the line. One can never be sure of the results. It's a journey into unreality. No one single person can count on getting the same results each time. Because of this, users describe both good trips and bad trips. Usually, the user remembers fairly well what happened to him when he took the drug. If this was unpleasant, he may be pushed into a feeling of suicide or sanity. He may get very insanity. He may be unable to control his mind. For two or three days after, he may feel paranoid. That's the same as other sources are trying to harm him or control his thinking. After having used the drug, and while it's wearing off, he may experience drowsiness and extreme depression. Flashbacks may occur weeks or months later, which he re experiences the way he felt when he first used the drug. This could be extremely disturbing. Suicide, death, injury, or death may occur because he thinks he can step out a window without falling or not, stand in the path of a moving automobile. When he tries it, serious injury may result in suicide. There seems to be no doubt that at least in some cases, NSD can produce serious mental illness. Other concerns arise from research showing that NSD may cause breaks in chromosomes. Chromosomes carry the genes which control the person's term of the living body structure. If this break occurs, it can cause birth defects and pain. Yes, the 